a very clean-cut couple here this evening. <laughs> They're very lucky. The master is having one of his affairs. Start of the Rocky Horror Show, man, like Brad and Janet. Like, they're going to get freaked out and things are going to go crazy and they're all going to like... You know what I'm saying? Go check them out. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Adrian, and from California. Uh-huh, and? Shane, from California. Hey, don't say it like that. That was very <laughs> passive-aggressive. <laughs> Shane. Shane. From California, obviously. California. Are you two a couple? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good, good, yeah. good. <laughs> you married? No. I see. Yeah. Thinking about it? Sure. <laughs> Craig, what are you doing? I don't know if she's thinking about it as much as you're thinking about it. You have to work a little harder, man. You called me up here. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. I called, I called you up here because you were sitting next to her and that body language looked a little odd to me. That's all I'm saying. And I'm supposed to say, what am I supposed to say? Well, you just say, yeah, well, you bet she's the greatest girl I ever met. Okay, Something like that. we'll do that. Yeah, and you, when you come to the show, smoke a little less marijuana. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it again. So, you... <laughs> you guys... You guys thinking about getting married? She's, she's just the greatest ever. Don't hold her! <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, I'm really excited for you kids. Thank you, Craig. Uh, what part of California are you from again? Claremont. Claremont. Aha! Gateway to Fresno? <laughs> Where is it, Claremont? It's just uh, east of here. All the colleges are there. Graduate school. Hell, man. <laughs> like, I don't know everything. I'm an immigrant. Okay. You know. <laughs> what are you studying? Theology. Ah. Yeah. Come here, man. <laughs> she studying theology too? No. Okay. What is she studying? She's a photographer. Does she photograph you with no clothes on? No. <laughs> you should probably put that together, man. <laughs> okay. Maybe then you could photo. Well, look, anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, when you finish your degree, you're going to be a pastor then? Uh, teach theology. I'm actually working in a church now, so... Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Uh, what denomination, then? Seventh-day Adventist. Right. That, that's one of the big ones. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> one thing I've learned about religion where I'm from, don't get involved. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm going to send you kids out to a great restaurant. Uh, if you can answer a question correctly. What's the restaurant, Michael? Craig's restaurant. That's a good. It's nothing to do with me. It's actually very good, and you can get really good stuff in it. Now, are you guys vegetarians? Cheers. You vegetarian? I am. And you're not? No. Couldn't these two share an apartment? <laughs> without driving each other crazy? It's like Dharma and Greg. <laughs> uh, the question is, uh, who is the top uh, Seventh Day Adventist <laughs> in, in the country? Ted Wilson. Ted Wilson is the correct answer! <laughs> You're going to break! We'll be right back. <laughs> 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 Sponsored by Advil, the pain reliever that's built to be as fast as it is strong. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
<laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, everybody. That's enough. Great. You did well. Thanks. Quietly now. That's great. Please sit down. You did great. Wow, what a nice crowd. Really nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them on vacation with me. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of, lot of money. Uh, yeah, we're, we're only going over to the farmer's market. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> you got it? Uh, it's a great day for television, <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it is. The Critics' Choice Awards are on the CW network tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm stuck here! <laughs> this year, the CW Network received zero nominations, and they're showing the award ceremony. <laughs> Bit awkward. That'd be like, uh, be like uh, having the NBA championships at Kobe Bryant's house this year. <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. You're right, you're right. Ooh. Take, take that, five-time NBA champ. Yeah. <laughs> This is a big crowd of sports fans. I'm telling you, uh, they're, yeah. they're heavily in We haven't had a crowd like this since the first night of the playoffs of no, the Stanley true. Cup. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Dedicated. Yeah. Dedicated. Hillary Clinton did a book signing today at Barnes & Noble next to this studio. People were lined up all day. I thought they were lining up for this show, and then I noticed they had... <laughs> then, I noticed, then I noticed they had teeth. Uh, oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. 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 They're like... Oh. <laughs> it's just a joke, everybody. God. I wish the audience from June the 5th were back here. <laughs> anyway, Hillary did the book signing at Barnes & Noble. Uh, Bill was doing a breast signing at Hooters. Yeah. <laughs> oh. ha, who... You do it. Like, I'll be, I'll be a, a Hooters waitress and you sign my breast as Bill Clinton. All right, okay, okay. Okay, go. Hey, uh, why don't you bring those things over here? And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, uh, let Daddy get a closer look. <laughs> uh, happy birthday today to my favorite government agency, the FCC. 80 years old. 80 years old today. Behaves like every other 80-year-old. <laughs> you can't say that! In the honor of the FCC's birthday, I'll be on my best behavior tonight with absolutely no cussing. <laughs> hey! Happy birthday to the FCC! He's really bad now. He's like, oh, you've done it now. Oh, you've done it now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, man. Oh, he's fuming. He's, he's fuming. He's, fuming. he's furious. Furious. You know why? It's because I touched his hair at the start of the oh, show. Oh, did you? Yeah, he doesn't like that. You must his hair a little bit. I must his hair. You, you, uh, well, never mind. FCC are the only ones celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday, American Idol's Paula Abdul. Um, yeah. That's the reserve, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> Paula Abdul and the FCC, very different, of course. One's a TV judge known for wacky decisions and sometimes not making any sense at all. And the other one, Jeff? Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul, all right. <laughs> earlier tonight, though, I'm very excited. Earlier tonight, the TV event of the year, the season premiere of Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. I love the whole Honey Boo Boo family. Honey Boo Boo, Mama June, Sugar Bear, Chub, Skeeter, Jar Jar, Tinky Winky, <laughs> Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Jermaine, Tito, Regis, and... And Mike. And Mike, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mama June says the new season will be the best one yet. I think that's what she said. I have no idea what she... <laughs> I'd like to see a conversation between Honey Boo Boo and Paula Abdul. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, I'll be Honey Boo Boo and you'll be Paula Abdul. Okay, okay, all right. How did Leo Ding Dong listen to Ding Dong? Slash of the Bazaar's account. I remember.
remember Honey Boo Boo's season premiere last year, it was on the same night as the Royal Baby Watch, which was great. When I got tired of watching a family of inbreds who talk funny, I'd switch over and watch Honey Boo Boo, right there? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, anyway, that's enough for me. I, I gotta stop. I'm going on vacation. Yeah, you gotta pace yourself, man. Yeah, I gotta pace, pace myself. Yeah. yeah, I'm going on vacation soon. Taking all these people with you. You still doing that, or is that another one? And then, when we get to the hotel, they'll be like, oh, they only had one room. <laughs> so you, you guys all have to sleep outside. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, take us to the commercial break, Certainly. would you? You're watching The Late Late Show, where the FCC stands for Ferguson's Crazy Colon. under here. <laughs> Did you put that under there? No, man, no. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Slazer, bazazer, bazazer, bazazer. Hardly all down, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Got the jingle? Play the jingle. Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right. Hell to the metal, we're getting there soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm thrown into the night. So here now, we're going to tweet the Yeah. All right, Jeff, this is from Liz in Honolulu, Hawaii. Have you ever been to Honolulu, Hawaii? Hawaii? Yeah, sure. I, I have a business over there. You have a business in sure, Honolulu? Yeah. What do you do? You teach yeah. surfing? Yeah, so a little surf, a little surf and turf, yeah. Hold on a second. Michael, are we interrupting you in some way? You're the on the phone man. over there. I can hear you like, oh, there's something going on. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Did you hear him? What is he doing? I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can hear his thoughts by some weird quirk. I seem to be able to hear his thoughts. Oh, you can read Michael's thoughts. Yes, let me try again. Okay, get the camera off me. Oh, boy. This is a bit... Uh, okay, no, I'll, I'll have two tacos. No, I want three tacos, uh, no cheese, and uh, no onions, and a large, just a large beverage or something. So I'm very gassy, though. I don't know if I should... And some Tums. All right, thanks. All right, all right, all right, all right. No surprises there, then. Uh, <laughs> Liz, in Honolulu, Hawaii. Yeah, what is your business in Honolulu? Honolulu, it's uh, surf and turf. Surf and turf? Yeah. You teach people to surf on grass. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going out of business this week. <laughs> uh, she says, Craig, what is your favorite soap opera daytime drama? <gasps> I never watch daytime dramas. <laughs> because I've got a job. For now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I love it. Love yeah, it. Good. Sure, sure. Yeah. Big thing. Uh, I like the uh, the young and the bold uh, or something. What's yeah, the your young favorite? and the restless, man. Young and the restless. Young and the yeah. restless. That's and the one. And the bold and the angry. The bold and the, uh, you know, the quasi uh, okay looking. That's a great show. <laughs> That's a new one we're working on. Was it Bold and the Beautiful, Young and the Restless, the Fat and the Thin, and, and the, the thin, right, yeah. Happy and the Grumpy and the Happy and the dozy, Grumpy, yes. Cheery, Larry and Doc. Uh, <laughs> this is from Tom in Orono in Maine. Or Orono. I think that's what it is. Or Orono. Or it might be Orono. Orono. Oh, is it Orono? Could be. It's whatever you want, Dad. You, you ever been there? A couple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, Orono. <laughs> so, yes, you have, or a no, you or have. Or a no, or a no. Well, no, wait, wait, 
a yes or a no? Or a no. Yes. Yes, or a no. <laughs> Yeah. Happy anyway. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah. But, um, no, it's not. I was thinking of the town. The town. What is it? Uh, the town I was thinking of. Uh, Dover. 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 Yeah. Have you ever been to Dover? Oh, once or twice. Have you been to Dover? Well, I, <laughs> I've been to Dover in the '80s, and then uh, I don't think I've been since. Oh, in the '80s. So, or no. <laughs> I forgot to read the question. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Marco in Napoli in Italia. Wow! What's a coming to go? That's Italian, sorry everyone. Yeah, uh, that's what you do. That's what you have to I do. I can't speak Italian, but I've played a lot of Mario Kart 8. <laughs> that's a great game. That's man. a great game. It just came out. I got it. I got I, it. I got it too. We should play together. We like should online, play together. Dude. We should get you know, we should get our remotes out and fiddle. <laughs> and also play the game. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Marco says, Craig, does your band know uh, that Alfredo sauce was named after an awesome restaurant in Nome with the chair? Oh, for heaven's oh, sake. Yeah. Boy, so this is from uh, Lewis in Margate, New Jersey. You ever been there? Margate, many times. Yeah, many that's times. the one where they've got that thing. What is it again? Uh, or a no. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, when you two hang out after the show, who chooses the restaurant? <laughs> 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 we don't hang out, and he can't eat, so, no. uh... No, no. Hang out after the show. Give me a break. Can't stand you. Can't stand each other. <laughs> uh, this is, it's like all show business couples. Right, exactly. Right, uh, you know, uh, Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis hated each other. Hated each other. Uh, Abba and Costello hated right, each other. Right, right. Uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton. They hated each other, sure, sure. Yeah, Lewis and Clark, yeah. <laughs> I, they hated each other? Yeah, they did. They didn't like each other. Oh, look what I discovered. Who cares? Stop running. Let's go that way. No, let's go that way. Shut up. You, you shut up. This is my pickaxe. I told you not to use this. This is from Royce in Rosharun in Texas, uh, which is a very unusual thing. He's a Texan penguin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You ever, uh, ever had a Texan penguin? Oh, once or twice. I had one in the 80s. When I was in Dover. Is that right? Yeah, I, I, I had been to Dover, and then I got a Texan penguin. That's usually how it starts. Yeah. Tell you, them, they're cold. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig, how can we hear Jeff since he doesn't have a microphone? Oh, shut up. I have a vocal amplification system that's built into my chassis, you jackass. You happy now? There you are. Now... And finally, this is, uh, this is from Randy in Plano, Texas. Now, this is interesting because Randy, we've been explaining this on the show, Randy uh, is a, just an, an ordinary old name in That's America, right. Randy. But in Britain, Randy means horny. <laughs> it, and it really does. It was like, oh, I'm Randy. If, let's uh, set a scenario, Jeff, where uh, I'm Randy and you come over and right, ask okay, me my name. All right. uh, hello, sir. I'm no, a, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're, uh, you're British. Oh, got it, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, sir, I'm taking the census. Uh, what's your first name, then? I'm Randy. <laughs> All right, I'll pick you up at seven. You see? So. Uh, anyway, uh, Randy in uh, Texas says, uh, Craig, my friends have been teasing me all day about my name because of you. Ah. <laughs> Can you help me come up with a good comeback? Uh... <laughs> you got a comeback? Well, yeah, well, well, I don't know what they're saying to you. They're teasing you about, oh, are you Randy? Oh, are you Randy? Then you can just say, yes, let's, um, let's have a Texan penguin. <laughs> That's the proper response, yes. Yeah, that is, are you, Randy? You bet I am, Texan Penguin. <laughs> Have you been to Dover? No, I haven't. I'm still Randy. See, yeah. like that. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> is my tie even on me no. tonight? Hang on, let's uh, do it up a bit. There you are. That's better. <laughs> oh. Hello? Uh, hey, it's uh, Randy. Uh, What's uh, your first name? Randy. So I'm, you are? I'm Randy. Oh. How can I help you? I'm a penguin from Texas. Is like, that a gang or something? No, man, I'm literally a penguin from Texas. 
<laughs> then how did you dial the number? You don't have thumbs or fingers or anything. Use my beak, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this here's a rotary phone, so you know I'm a real man. No, not the phone you're using. Oh, right, you I dial it. <laughs> I can see you too, by the way. I know. Yeah, so. yeah. So you're using a phone and watching television, and you're literally a penguin. That's right. Literally a penguin using the phone watching television. Yep. <laughs> and your name is? Randy, my okay, name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a great bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I have to say, I, I think we've done better in the past. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's good stuff. Nice socks, man. Nice. They're tights, actually. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, when I do this, it moves everything around. Oh, you could. If I keep doing this, I'll end up having to change my name to... Randy. Randy, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, it's the Queen. <gasps> Sorry, Your Majesty. Uh, <laughs> How are you? Couldn't help but notice your socks. They're rather enjoyable. Little dots on your legs. You could play a tiny game of Twister on your calves. They're, uh, they're tights, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. Does it keep your business all snug up there? <laughs> As a fact, it, it does, ma'am. Yes, they, it keeps my business all snug together. What we call in America, a Texan ping. Oh, dear. Well, now you've got me all randy. All right, that's enough. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> My first guest and I am a very talented designer, a handsome man. I, I think I'm, I'm uh, correct in saying that. And he smells wonderful. He smells great. He's a good friend of this show, a terrific human being. Carson Cressley, everybody. <laughs> in the green room, clearly. No, I haven't. I, I, had, I had like 18 chocolates. Oh, my God. I think there's caffeine in that. You have so much energy and no socks. I, I have see. no socks. I couldn't compete with your dots, so I said, I'm taking them off. Yeah, they're... Uh, Those are really good. They're tight. I, um... I notice your legs are a bit hairy. You don't wax. I don't, no. I, it keeps me from looking like a lady. Um, <laughs> I cut my... I got a men's haircut, too. So, um, no more of that. When I'm on planes, yes. you know when they're coming from behind and Excuse they're saying <laughs> seatbelts and they say, ma'am, sir, ma'am, seatbelt, seatbelt, ma'am, sir. They come to me and they're like, ma'am. And then they're like, sir, <laughs> ma'am. And then they keep going. They do that to they you? Do. Don't they do. They don't say Carson Cressley to you? No, they, they do. Ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir. Carson Cressley, no, everybody on usually, the plane. They usually just say ma'am. Well, it I, happens. No, I think, well, you look great. I well, mean, thank you, really, you. I like the, the, the thing. And My the, pocket square. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, the, I tried yeah. to zhuzh it up a little yeah, bit. you look good. Yeah, I thank like you. It. Yeah, it's nice. Thanks. Yeah, what's going on with you? Been oh, on vacation gosh. or anything? I have been in vaca on vacation. I went to Kentucky. I went to the Derby. Is that a vacation, technically? <laughs> that's kind of, yeah, it's fun. You get to okay. drink a lot and not work. I think that's vacation. Yep, yep. Yeah. Well, that, that's, uh, for some people, that's, yeah. uh, that's unemployment, though. I, you know, well, uh, true, true. <laughs> I, went to, um, I went to see Loretta Lynn in Kentucky. She did a what? concert. 
And um, I didn't know you were a fan. Yeah, I'm a big country music fan. I had no idea. And, I would have um, picked you and for that. I know. I'm full of surprises. Mm -hmm. um, but she is so legendary. I was like, yeah, of course I want to go. And we got to meet her manager. And like, we're going to tell Loretta you're here. And I was like, I don't think she's going to know me, but go for it. And um, halfway through the concert, she was really sweet. She goes, we have some very special guests in the audience tonight. And I was like, oh, no, please, no. Um, and she said, I'd like to wish Bob and Linda a happy 50th wedding anniversary. Well, there and you I are. was like, whoo. Yeah. And then she said, and we also have one of the queer guys here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, um. And like literally my whole row went, queer guys? <laughs> and I said, no, 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 they said steer guys, people from the Beef Council. <laughs> Just enjoy the show. That was um, a great show, though, The Queer Eye for a It was, Eye thank show. you. Yes, thank, thank you. That show, thank that you. That show changed the game, really. Yeah. You know. it, it changed the game. That was it. it. brought on a whole. I mean, there's a lot of imitators of that kind of thing. Right. Now, but wh why don't you do any more of them? I think they're good shows. Oh, I know they're like like eight million more straight guys that still need it. But yeah, um, and also yeah, it's kind of like you, you're kind of like the Beatles of that genre of television. Right. You know, that like all, there's all these things that followed after, like you know, decorate your home. You know. Right. Make over your cat. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, is there make over your cat? Because I might want to see that. I don't. No. Um, I think they're probably working on that. Make over your cat. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. I, it's a British format. You know how those go. <laughs> you could be like the host of Make Over Your Cat. And your co-host and then Randy. And then Randy? Me yeah. and Randy. Well, you, you could be... Randy. No, you be my co-host. And I'll okay. be like, there's no way this cat can be fixed, Carson. Uh, this cat's defunct. We should destroy it. Right. And then I then I bring it out and it's all like in like and a little like, bow tie oh, with polka dot socks yeah, on it. Yeah. Yeah. The big I, reveal. <laughs> and we'll go, move that bus. And then they, they move the bus and the right. cat is behind the bus. Right. And the cat's like standing and posing. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. yeah. And the cat's and it's like got, a model. And the cat has got its... Thing back, right? You know, it's his uh, mojo. It's mojo. Yeah, yeah his, that's right. His um, feline mojo. Feline mojo. He's yes. feline good and looking good. <laughs> that could be the tagline that's it. for our good, show. Feline good and looking good. Yeah, let's. Let's get on the phone with Animal Planet. Now, well, I think it would probably. This all makeover shows now, but I learned to shave watching that show. You did? Yeah, I was because I, I used to always shave against the grain. Right, you got to go with it. With the grain? Yeah. I didn't. I was I getting didn't rashes for years, and I watched the show, and then there was a thing, and you were showing this guy how to shave. Right. And you said shave with, with the grain. And I'm, you're welcome. Wow. You're welcome. There's so much I can learn from the gay community. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I've been going. I've been invited to a lot of gay weddings this summer. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. Now that the gays can get married, they're all getting married like the same month. I was like, people, mm -hmm. spread them out a little bit. Yeah. I can't do five weddings in one day. I'm looking forward to the inevitable rash of gay divorces oh, that I are going to come up as well. I know. Those lawyers are going to make a lot of money because mm -hmm. the gays have a lot of stuff to That's buy. That's right, yeah. <laughs> they have like two of everything, like who gets your car and my car and mm -mm -mm. Well, you get the socks and I have none. Would you, and... would you ever get married? Would you ever? Uh... Um, yeah, if I could get a date or something, I would totally think I'll about stop. getting you married. Can date, can't you? Uh, well, yeah, I probably would, but I would, I would first, like, have a date and then a boyfriend and then I would get married. I'm old-fashioned. You are. You're very... I'm old-fashioned. You're very Southern in that I, regard. I am. Yeah, yeah. Are I'm, you Southern? You say you're sort of I'm Southern. I'm not Southern. I'm you're, from Allentown, Pennsylvania. That's not Southern no. at all. No. Uh, but I spend a lot of time in the South going to horse shows. You've got a kind of Southern vibe. I don't know what I it do. is. I do. Do you like know. it down there? I do. And also the South? I I do. I do. I love the South. <laughs> they have good food, and they've got Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, that's true, actually. Did you watch the, that show with the Honey Boo Boo? I've show? seen some of it, I yeah. I really, I totally listen to Tiaras. I'm like, no, I don't approve of that. You know? I like the show um, called um, I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> yes, I've How seen does it. that happen? Uh, well, I think, I mean, yeah, it's a little tricky, that one. It's like, come on. I don't know, and then, uh-oh, and then, yeah. Yeah, and then I had a baby. Yeah, it's all pretty much the same story as well. Yeah. It's like, I thought I I was going to the bathroom there. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. We have to take a commercial break and discuss this further. We'll be right back ideas. with Carson Kirkland. <laughs> Presley, we were discussing our favorite television shows. Uh, mine was Dangerous Catch and Mythbusters. Mythbusters? Yeah, actually, I, I yeah. love Mythbusters. Although I, I'm, it's kind of. Do uh, you like Storage Wars? 
I don't think I've seen that one. I just did a show for a game show network called Skin Wars. What's that then? And you, that sound it sounds like almost like yeah, a, a Buffalo a Bill or something. Disease, yeah, yeah. But, um, it's about body painting. Oh, and, okay. Um, yeah. And I went to guest judge this thing where they did like a fashion challenge and they basically paint the clothing on the people. I love this. So when I got there, no one had any tops on and I was just staring at nipples. And um, where can I see this? I'm asking for a friend. I'll bring yeah. you to the, I'll bring you to the set. Yeah, um, no, I'd, I'd, after a while you were just like you didn't even notice that they didn't have any clothes on. You were just like, Yeah, I like your bangs. But their their nipples were out and it was um it's yeah. gonna be good. Would you ever go to a, like a nudist beach or something like that? No, because I find that the people that are actually nude are the ones that shouldn't be. <laughs> Carson Presley, everybody. Right. Talented young actress, you can see her in gang related uh, Thursdays on Fox. Take a look at this. Chantel Van Sant, Try and be a gentleman, especially you look very elegant, very thank beautiful, you. and sophisticated and classy. All for you. Well, I thank you very much indeed, but it wouldn't fit me. I, uh, Just an option. No, Excuse it's it's way. it's very lovely, and your shoes, my yeah? goodness, they're lovely, uh, knobbly bits on them. Yeah, they're. Uh, I was hoping you would not mention my feet, considering I wear like the largest size possible. So I. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've I've seen larger sizes in a high heeled shoe than that. Are you sure. Size eleven. Ooh, no, yes. no, no. Not not the height of the heel. My actual feet, though. Like a size eleven. Well, that's good. Very rare. It, it's. Yeah. I'm. A, I'm a. Sasquatch has the same feet. No, I. I you have big feet. Oh God, yeah. Well, that's great. That, I mean, <laughs> so in high winds, you're like no problem. Yeah. Or, if I was a guy, maybe, you know, I'd be well endowed. Well, well I had big feet. Well, but you're, you're clearly not a guy, so, uh, no, no, it, it'll be fine. Water skiing? Water yeah, skiing? Oh, I, I don't even need the ski. Yeah, you'd be like, come on, let's go! Be fine. Congratulations. May I ask about your, uh, your name? It's very unusual. Yes. It's, uh, where's it from, Van Santen? Um, it's Dutch. Ah, I see. Dutch. I'm 75% Dutch, 25% Norwegian. Wow, mm -hmm. good for you. Yeah. And that, uh, that's, um, so Dutch would be, have you been to Amsterdam? I haven't. Oh, I haven't. You, you should go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have, but I'm sure that's no surprise to anybody in this room. I, yeah, no, it's a, it's a fantastic place. Yeah. Beautiful city, Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. Have you never been to Holland? Mm, no, I haven't. Actually, my, my grandparents came from, one side of my grandparents, came from Holland and, uh, settled in Minnesota and they are dairy farmers so so you grew up a dairy farmer I did I did grow up a dairy farmer uh, one what? set of parents uh, one set of grandparents had a dairy farm and uh, milk cows and the other ones raised cows and pigs for meat so. oh so you're you're a yeah. good are you a vegetarian no <laughs> are you kidding me my family would never let me be vegetarian Do you still hear the lambs Santa? <laughs> That would be kind of because yeah no I don't know how well I'd be growing up. No? My wife grew up on a, a farm and she's kind of like very practical. It's good because she's used to being around large smelly creatures, yeah. so it kind of works for me. <laughs> but I don't know how well I would have done. No, with that. no. We had to do all sorts of fun things like um, besides milking the cows, which was a fun task in and of itself. Did like, you use the electric milk? Yeah, you use, but, but yeah. you have to wash them and put salve on their udder during the winters and uh, you. <laughs> I'm trying not to be really weird about this, and it's really hard. It's like our first date. I yeah, probably yeah, shouldn't like, tell you these things. Yeah, yeah. No, but uh, um, you, you rub the udders. Yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, you help cows give birth and all sorts of. How fun. do you help them give birth? Like drive them to the hospital or something? Um, <laughs> I wish it was. I wish it was that nice. No, you normally have to like reach down in and tie twine around a calf and then help pull. So it's that a very sounds like <laughs> poltergeist. <clean> <laughs> you know when they had to hold on to the rope, Caroline. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Wow. Uh, yeah, 
It was a, it was a very interesting so, childhood. So well, why did you get drawn into acting then? Was it just to avoid, uh, you know, large, smelly uh, farm animals? Because you're going to run out of them here. I know. Um, no, I, I don't know if it's what I always wanted to. I wanted to write. That's what I was going to college for. Ah. And uh, acting kind of found me. And in that sense, I felt like it's what I was supposed to do. What, uh, what college did you go to to write? Uh, I was going to Texas Christian University. Ah, I see. Yeah. You're a Texas Christian? Um, <laughs> uh, wow, we're already talking about religion. No, no, uh, we no. We should go to politics next. No, no, no. We're, we're not no, talking I, about No, uh, I, I only went there for a year and a half. I, I finished. see. So, um, but uh, yeah, I, I came out So you're a Satanist. Yeah, yes, yes, exactly, saying. exactly. 100%. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> so uh, you were studying, was it creative writing? Um, uh, journalism. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. There's none of that left anymore, you know. No. Nah, it's just horses' asses saying whatever they like. <laughs> nah, it's true. I think back in the day, you know, when they had editors and stuff, it was very rare to find a good journalist now. Yeah. What do you read for fun, then? Um, or do you read for fun? Do, do I know how to read? Oh, I'm sure you know how to read. Come on. Um, uh, I, I read, I mean, I have friends who all suggest things. I read lots of scripts, obviously. Right, yeah. I suppose yeah. I mean, you're doing that as an actress. Yeah, you, you kind of do that all the time. So what do you do to relax, then, apart from, you know, massage uh, cows during the birth? <laughs> uh, That's the most relaxing Well, you're, you live in Los Angeles, right? <laughs> yes, I do. All right. So what I do feel like I'm never here, though. I mean, I, I'm always shooting other places like Russia or Berlin or... That's great! All Russia sorts of cool places. Where have you been to in Russia? Moscow. Oh, I've been yeah. there, yeah. Have you been to Yaroslav? Uh, no, what's that? It's uh, the, oldest, the oldest city in all of Russia, and it's outside by probably five hours outside of Moscow. No, no, that's too far for me. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's far away from civilization. What is it, what is it like? Uh, in, in Moscow? No, no, I've been to Moscow. What? I know what it's in like Euroslavo. in Moscow. Yeah, Yaroslav. What's um, there? It was a lot of, like, abandoned homes and farms on the way out there. Yeah. And uh, it kind of reminded me of living in, in Minnesota. It's funny when you go to other countries and you think, wow, this looks like Texas, or, oh, this looks like Minnesota. Yeah, I know, yeah. I remember thinking that, but some very... I went to Kosovo once. I was like, wow, I, this kind of looks familiar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Then I remembered I'd been there fun. before, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Berlin, I'd never yeah. been to Berlin. I Berlin is awesome. Yeah, I've heard I it's it great. There. I want to go there, yeah. badly, yeah. Where do you go on vacations, normally? Scotland. Yeah? Yeah. Back home? Yeah, yeah. I go to Scotland a lot, yeah. yeah. But I'm, fr I'm from there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Have you ever been there? I haven't. Oh, you'd I love haven't. it. Next time you can just pack me in your carry-on. I'll come with. No? I, I look, I'd be into it, but those other <laughs> members of the family, I think, are going to have something to say. Okay. So, I, I don't know. I'll take you know. my own trip. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, honey, what if uh, one of the cows has a baby? She'd be like, no, I don't. No, that would be great. Uh, well, anyway, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, so how do you want to end this? Uh, awkward pause, bit of meditation, want to throw um, frisbees at my horse? That's awkward. not cool. Let's do that's, an awkward pause. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's cool. Hey, whoa! Oh, I thought it was like a, it's oh, not a no, moment. No, it's a, it's a, not an oh, awkward pause. That's an awesome a pause. That's a completely <laughs> different thing. I thought it was that kind of moment. No, that's, a, that's, a, no, that's, there's nothing awkward about, well, let's get a little awkward now, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful. You would never have lasted at the Texas Christian <laughs> University. My mom's going to be really disappointed. Oh, see, you're only kidding. It's fine. I'm only kidding. Wonderful. Mm. Mm. You still reading that book? Yeah, yeah, I can't get enough of it, man. You've been reading this book for a month now. Yes. <laughs> About two weeks, maybe? Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks, yeah. He's one of my idols. John Waters, one of my idols. Man, love him. Have you ever been hitchhiking? Yeah, a couple times, yeah, a couple times. Uh, where, where did you hitchhike from? <laughs> from Cleveland. I thought you took the train from Cleveland. I did. I was a hobo for a while. I took the train. I rode the rails, yeah, from Cleveland. And what kind of a train was it from Cleveland? A steam train. <laughs>